Mandelhörnchen. That is something you can find in every bakery in Germany. Uh, the word can be translated to almond horns or almond crescents, and it's also been one of my pregnancy cravings. My husband can tell tales about because I was sending him out to get me these Mandelhörnchen at the most inconvenient times. The ingredients we need today are 200 grams of marzipan and you can make your own marzipan if you want. Here's the recipe for that, but you can also use some store-bought one. You also need 100 grams of almond flour or almond meal, one egg white, 100 grams of powdered or confectioner's sugar, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and also later I will need some sliced almonds, one more egg white and some chocolate. You will find the list of ingredients on my blog post and you can switch between the metric system and the US customary system for the quantities. So making the dough is very easy. I just throw this all together in one bowl and mix it. So this goes all in here. And then I just mix it. All right, and it just takes a couple of minutes to get this all mixed together. And it's a very, very sticky thing. So that's the only difficult part. Yeah, and I just set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. And in my next step, I will put some of my egg white here into a bowl. Mix it a little bit, just to be able to work a little better with it. And I put some almonds on a plate. All right. And I put some water on my hands so I can work easier with the dough. So I take some of this dough and I make a crescent shape. And some make them really small, which I don't because if you buy them in the bakery, they are quite large. Okay. So put this into the egg white and then I cover it as good as I can with some of the sliced almonds and now it goes on the baking sheet. Okay, and I continue to do this with the rest of the dough. All right. So your crescents should have about the same size, so they need the same amount of time for baking. And you get basically about um, six of these crescents from the dough that I made. Okay, and now I'm just waiting for the oven to get to the desired temperature. And then I will bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes. And in the meantime, while the almond crescents are in the oven, I will melt some chocolate like always over some hot water that's not boiling and the bowl is not touching the water. So this is what they look like after they come from the oven. They're still very soft and they have to cool now entirely before I can continue and dip them into the chocolate. Okay, the almond horns have cooled now, which brings me to the last step, which means I'm dipping the ends of these horns into the chocolate. So they go after. Tilt this a little bit. So this is what it's supposed to be like. And I'll do this with all of my almond horns now.
So here we have the finished Mandelhörnchen. And I want to show you, they are very soft. So I'm gonna break one into two pieces, like this. And they're very delicious. Mm. This is so good, just wonderful. Well, there's not much more to say about this. It's just delicious. It's a dream. And by the way, it turns out that this recipe is gluten-free. I've never thought about it before. I have a neighbor who uh, is gluten intolerant, so that's how I learned that um, there are some foods they can't eat. Um, so whether you're gluten intolerant or not, this is a delicious and wonderful recipe that I really dare you to try. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up, press the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video.